This right here is a two week old twist out. And I wore it in a high ponytail yesterday and I have not done anything to my hair today. So my hair is pretty tangled. So the tools that I'm going to be using today are a wide tooth comb, this is a bone comb, got it from my local beauty supply store, it was about $2, and a few hair clips, and some pure water, nothing is in this water. So I'm just going to spritz my hair. To give it moisture and this will help me detangle my hair and separate my hair without causing breakage. Now I'm going to start to separate the hair into four. Gently. Anywhere that I feel dryness, I'm going to re-spritz with water. I now have my hair divided into four sections. Now I'm going to start at the back. Spritz the hair with water. So I'm going to start finger detangling. Any chunky twist, I'm going to separate them with my fingers gently. As I'm detangling with my fingers, I'm also removing shedded hairs. It's very important that you detangle your hair at least, I try to detangle my hair as much as possible, but at least 90%. Make sure your hair is detangled before getting in the shower or before washing your hair, whether you do it in the shower or in the sink. Just make sure your hair is detangled as much as possible before wetting it. If not, once that water and shampoo hits your hair, it can really create knots that are extremely hard to detangle when your hair is soaking wet. I don't care how much conditioner you use, you are creating breakage. I truly believe I'm able to retain a lot of my lift because I detangle my hair before getting in the shower. Okay, so now that my hair is finger detangled, I'm going to separate this into two. Clip this section out the way. So now I'm going to start at the ends. Now 
and I'm just gently working my way up the hair shaft. And as I'm doing this, I'm also removing shedded hairs. I have not combed my hair in two weeks, so there are shedded hairs in here that I do need to remove before getting in the shower and washing my hair. If not, those shedded hairs can wrap around healthy strands and create knots, which will lead to breakage. And that is not what I want. So my hair is starting to get a little dry. I'm gonna re-spritz it just to dampen it. And this is helping me create slip. So I'm not hearing any pops, any breakage. All I'm doing is making progress, getting through the tangles. Just removing shed hairs from the comb. So my fingers are able to glide through this section. I'm going to work on the next section that I clipped out of the way, which is still part of the back section. I divided it into two. Shedded hairs. Just using my fingertips to feel for any knots or tangles that I could have possibly missed. And for the most part, this section feels about 90% detangled. Bring both sections together. Now my last section. Spritz the hair with water just to dampen it a bit. Doing this is reactivating the products that are already in my hair, which are Nina's Naturals and Extra Virgin Olive Oil. Now I'm going to separate a section I like to detangle in sections over that's grabbing a clump of hair because I'm able to feel the tangles better and then I have a less chance of forming knots and creating breakage when I detangle in smaller sections. So 
starting at the ends. This is allowing me to prevent dragging tangles from the root to the ends, which will create a knot. So if I remove the tangles at the end and slowly work my way up the hair shaft, this more than likely will prevent that knot that could lead to damage. So the motion I like to use is more like a picking motion. My goal is not to drag the comb straight through the hair because that's not the type of hair I have. And I have accepted that. With curly textured hair, our goal is not to have the comb drag throughout the hair without stopping. Our goal is to get detangled free hair without getting breakage. So I like to use that picking motion. I do not like going to the salon because they don't take the time out to try to preserve your hair. You know, they don't care. Their goal is to get through with your hair. So they're not gonna take their time and pick through the hair. This is my last section. Okay, moisturizing the hair with water. So the key to healthy hair growth is patience. This right here took me about an hour just to detangle my hair. I'm fine with that, but most people think that it's just ridiculous. My goal was to have all natural, long, thick, healthy hair. So this is what it takes, a lot of patience. I used to follow the trend and detangle my hair in the shower with lots of conditioner. I did that for a good two years, no lie. But guess what, my ends were never this healthy. I had damaged areas that people didn't notice, but I noticed them, especially on wash day. And I would think of detangling your hair in the shower as kind of rushing through the detangling process. Taking the extra step in detangling your hair before getting in the shower, at least 90% will definitely eliminate breakage. And also, don't be afraid to clip your ends. If I see split ends, just watching television, and if I see a split end, I will instantly remove it because that one little split end can lead to breakage. And I'm not saying I don't have any split ends in my hair. We all have split ends, but if you notice them, remove them as soon as possible. Damaged ends is not a good looking length. So don't be afraid to remove length to gain health and thickness. So now that my hair is completely detangled, I will now get in a shower and continue with my regular wash routine.